Hello! My name is Janeline. But you can call me Glyn or Glyn for short. I am here to present to you the secret of a secret life. Opportunity is for people who are in extreme poverty. However, if only water, food, education, safe place to live, a job, faucets are affordable, it will be a better life. All families in the world have to worry about where to find food, security for rain and floods, and other contingencies. These things are the biggest concern together with education and opportunity, school for the children, and other facets in life. How can Filipinos be secured in these contingencies? How can they be confident in things that are economically uncertain? The answers are unfolded in the acronym SSS. Accountants, lawyers, teachers, engineers, doctors, and all people in present, even in human history, have faced the uncertainties brought on by unemployment, illness, disability, death, and old age. In the realm of economics, these inevitable facets of life are said to be threats to one's economic security. Social security was a precious cash that everyone is yearning for, especially in the Philippines. This security was taken as a personal investment of the people, but then became a program of the government, a program of social reform, and a ticket of security. The Philippine social security system in Filipino, Paseguruhang Kapanatagang Panlipunan, or simply SSS, is a state-run social insurance program the Philippines to workers in the private, professional, and informal sectors. Government program aimed at providing basic needs to citizens who are retired, unemployed, or unemployable due to a disability or disadvantage. The typical features of the SSS are SSS membership is for lifetime. It is funded usually by mandatory payroll contributions, which has a contribution rate of 11%. For a typical worker, both employee and employer contribute in the SSS. Self-employed are also qualified to be a member of SSS. Funding comes from income-related insurance contributions and state support. SSS follows the principle of solidarity those with higher incomes who therefore pay higher social insurance contributions help to fund benefits for those with lower income. And principle of insurance. Insurance is the prerequisites for drawing benefits. Benefits are income related. What are the functions of SSS? To give social security and social justice. How does it help people? provide compensation for for income loss SSS mission is to manage a sound and viable social security system which shall promote justice and provide meaningful protection to members and their families against the hazards of disability sickness maternity old age death and other contingencies resulting in the loss of income or financial burden. SSS vision is to be a viable social security institution, providing universal and equitable social protection through world-class service. SSS corporate values is aimed to institutionalize 
a corporate culture that instilled the core values of trust, empowerment, and teamwork. It was former President Manuel A. Rojas who first proposed a bill in Congress seeking the establishment of a social security system for wage earners and low-salaried employees. This he said on January 26, 1946 during his State of the Nation address. On July 7, 1948, after the death of President Rojas, President Elpidio Carino created a Social Security Commission, his first official act as president. This commission drafted the Social Security Act that was submitted to Congress. This draft was introduced by Flora Cusologo, Senators Cipriano Primicias, and Manuel Briones to the House and was enacted as Republic Act 1161 or the Social Security Act 1954. However, its implementation was delayed by objections made by business and labor groups. It was only in 1957 that amendatory bills were presented in Congress, creating the RA 1792, amending the original Security Act. On September 1, 1957, the Social Security Act of 1954, or the Social Security Law, was finally implemented, adopting the social insurance approach to Social Security covering the employed segment of the labor force in the private sector. In 1980, some groups of self-employed persons were also required to contribute to the Social Security Fund from which benefits are paid upon the occurrence of a contingency provided by law. On May 1, 1997, President Fidel V. Ramos signed RA 8282 or Social Security Act of 1997 an app which further strengthened the SSS. This act provides better benefit packages, expansion of coverage, flexibility in investment, steeper penalties for violators of the law, condemnation of penalties of the Lincoln employers, and the establishment of a voluntary provident fund for members. Looking around us, we can see a lot of people insured in SSS. Your parents, siblings, friends, neighbors, and people around you are members of this program. But among these large numbers of people, who are the remarkable people who manage the operation of the SSS? Under the Social Security Commission, Amado D. Valdez, who is the chairman or head of the Social Security System. Next in the hierarchy is the Vice Chairman, Emmanuel F. Dook, And followed by the number of commissioners, Diana Pardo Aguilar, Arthur Amansek, Silvestre Bello III, Michael Regino, Jose Gabriel Lavinia, Gonzalo Duque, and Anita Boscom Kitain. The SSS management is composed of the following. Emmanuel F. Dook functions as the President and the Chief Executive Officer of SSS. Rizaldi Capulong as the Executive Vice President, followed by the Senior Vice Presidents and Vice Presidents, who are assigned to different divisions of the operation and places all over the Philippines. Together, they are the working hands of SSS that ensure the overall operations and services of SSS. There are three programs being administered by SSS, namely the Social Security Program, the Medicare Program, and the Employees' Compensation Program. The Employees' Compensation Program, or the EC, aims to assist those who suffer from work-connected sickness or injury resulting in disability or death. Starting June 1994, the benefits under the EC program may be enjoyed simultaneously with benefits under the Social Security Program, thus allowing double compensation 
for covered members who suffer work-related contingencies. All SSS registered employers and their employees are compulsorily covered under the EC program and need not register again under the EC. SSS members can make salary or calamity loans. Salary loans are calculated based on a member's particular monthly salary. Calamity loans are for instances when the government has declared a state of calamity in the area where an SSS member lives following disasters such as flooding and earthquakes. How does one apply for SSS membership? You can apply uh, SSS membership through internet or uh, to the nearest SSS branches. What are the requirements needed? Actually, birth or baptismal certificate and marriage contract if married. What are the procedures to acquire SSS membership? Uh, you can uh, register through online or uh, fill out application forms at the SSS nearest branches or accredited sub-offices. How to be an SSS member? To be a member, an individual must accomplish the application form and the E1, which is the SSS personal record for issuance of SSS number. The membership requirements are the following. His or her must be at least 18 years old. Non-working persons are welcome. In order for a member of SSS to claim a lifetime monthly pension, he must be at least 60 years old and he must have at least 120 monthly contributions regardless of his citizenship. The employer should fill out the R1 or the SSS employer registration for the company to be acknowledged by the SSS. R1A or the SSS employment report is also filled out by the employer for their contributions. E4 write out for any membership data changes. And for request for SSS loan, SSS membership loan application is completed. The benefits that SSS members enjoyed are sickness, a daily cash allowance paid for the number of days a member is unable to work due to sickness or injury, maternity, a daily cash allowance granted to a female member who is unable to work due to childbirth or miscarriage. Disability, a cash benefit granted either as a monthly pension or a lump sum amount to a member who becomes permanently disabled either partially or totally. Retirement, a cash benefit granted either as a monthly pension or a lump sum amount to a member who can no longer work due to old age. Death, a cash benefit granted either as a monthly pension or a lump sum to the beneficiaries of a deceased member. Funeral, a variable amount ranging from a minimum of 20,000 pesos to a maximum of 40,000 pesos depending on the member's number of contributions and average monthly salary credit. Granted, whoever paid for the burial expenses of the deceased member. Salary, a cash loan granted to an employed, currently paying, self-employed, or voluntary member. It is intended to meet the member's short-term credit needs. What are their duties and responsibilities of the SSS member? Monitoring of premium contributions and payment of contributions as well as loan amortization. What are the duties and responsibilities of the SSS member? The schedule of the 11% rate contribution is based on the range of the compensation. For self-employed, voluntary members, and overseas workers, there is a separate schedule followed. Over-the-counter, for voluntary, self-employed, 
household employer and corporate payment electronic payment for corporate payment automatic debit arrangement with accredited banks for voluntary self-employed household employer and corporate payment overseas and local for OFW payments to promote social justice and provide meaningful protection to members against contingencies. SSS continue to grow and engage in different needs of the people. The protection and help they provide in all contingencies of members are picking up. Amendments and additional compensation are the results of the organization's improvement. The latest news about the SSS is the approval of 1,000 pesos additional pension in January 2017 and another 1,000 pesos before the end of the Duterte's administration. However, the pension increase will come with a corresponding rise in the contribution rate by members. The agency hopes to comply with the initially proposed 2,000 pesos increase by scheduling the additional 1,000 pesos increase by 2022 or even earlier. They have calibrated a contribution rate increase of 1.5% to be implemented in May 2017. In peso, this additional contribution would range from 15 pesos to 740 pesos to be equally shared by the employer and employee. The latest challenge that SSS is facing and working on is the collection efficiency against delinquent employers so as not to compromise the lifespan of the SSS to 2028. SSS is also targeting more efficient collection methods from contributors and their employers and calling on the Congress to craft a law that will enable the SSS to penalize firms and employers who do not remit the correct contributions. And the future plan is to increase the monthly salary credit from 16,000 pesos to 20,000 pesos to sustain the 1,000 pesos additional pension given to pensioners, all for the welfare of Filipinos. At present, SSS members contribute 11% to the fund, but in succeeding years, economic managers are targeting 17% of the contributors' monthly salary credit to cover the increase in pensions to retirees. The SSS pension fund will last until 2040 despite the hike, as the contribution rate increases. SSS will also urge Filipino workers overseas to become members. The agency may also require SSS clearance for bidders of government projects and business owners. There's a big confusion about these two government programs frequently. There's no huge gap between their functions, but SSS is for the general public while GSIS or Government Service Insurance System is for the government employees, meanwhile are covered under a separate state pension fund. Why is SSS considered as a social reform and a ticket of security? I think every uh, now and then they are uh, having uh, an update regarding the policies and procedures in granting of uh, benefits and loan amortization. While on the ticket of uh, security, uh, it provides uh, protection for all uh, qualified Filipinos. That's why uh, we have the universal coverage for all uh, uh, Filipino people. Social security system is one of the best seed that was sown the history. It is a way of moving the deprived, aged, and least out of the shadow of poor house and maltreatment. All this for the welfare of the Filipino that must be enjoyed and exercised by all the Filipinos. No one will be divested in the society because of this social reform, which is continuously improved by the government. Everyone will benefit and have the key of the ticket of social security because it provides protection to all qualified Filipinos. With SSS, social justice is implemented and the future of every Filipino is secured.
C. There is a government sector for our contingencies. With SSS, all of us will experience a more comfortable and happy life. Thank you for watching. Bye!